Good afternoon, everyone. This is Chris Brecher with the Chart Patterns Mastery Room at Simpler Trading. Today, March 7, 2022, what was today about? Today was about Powell. And about Powell talking about rates might have to go even higher to tame inflation, which we had already figured by looking at housing and rental prices. So the only way to take care of this is more unemployment and that's where this gets difficult of what to do in the markets here what to short now what do i mean by that well on the one hand the yield curve the two and ten yield curve is the steepest has been in for uh most inverted in 40 years that usually means a severe recession so you think you'd be short the deers of the world and all that on the other hand you have that the qqq has not filled its gap why the SPY has. So tomorrow, this is how I'm laying it out, but I want to go over first companion indexes. I'm really into companion indexes. What do I mean by that? That I was bearish today because on the left was the Chinese market. I'm going to put it on a four-hour chart. China market looked great a couple of days ago and as you see, fell apart. So the U.S. S&P and the Chinese market had correlated pretty darn well this year, even from the beginning of the, there, even from the beginning of the year, right here. Then all of a sudden that bull flag failed miserably, which made the probability of the S&P failing miserably as well, which is what happened. Now, the bond market did go up, but I want to show you all the correlations I'm watching. Number one, because a lot of people are new. A ton of people are new. I'm so excited. So, on the left, bond market. I'm going to remove the drawings and show you what we've been obsessing about. This. Here's the bond market on January 1st. Here's the bond market in uh, early November prior to the big rally of bonds. And on the right, the big rally in the S&P. So right here, on the right, 2023, right there, that circle. I'm going to put a little bubble there. So when the bond market rallied, the ES rallied. So the bond market had a second rally up, and the ES had a second rally up. But now the bonds are down where they started the year. But the S&P is still 100 points above it. Just keep that in mind in there. But this is the one that's more imp impressive and why I'm going to lean on the QQQ tomorrow. On the right, or the, the NASDAQ. So last time that the bond market in January went to here, it didn't go to the October lows, it went to the January lows. The NASDAQ went to test the October lows. Why? Because so many NASDAQ stocks have high PE or high price to sales, and the higher yields go, the more their PE or price to sales contracts. So it always hits the NASDAQ uh, more, usually. But look this time. Yeah. It's huge, 1,600 points higher than where it was when the bonds were here last time. Just keep that in the back of your mind, and that's why I'm going to look for more NASDAQ stocks to short. Now, a lot of people were talking about the dojis, the reversal dojis yesterday. Just keep in mind that a lot of times before a big event, now they might not be perfect dojis, but indecision candles, Markets come back to revert to the mean and be unchanged, and they have dojis before the big event. The key is the day afterwards, the day of the dojis, right here. And what happened? They all follow through to the downside. Now, the way I'm going to look at it tomorrow, though, is I definitely want to play the NASDAQ first if I play anything on the short side. This is the one reason why. Number one, this hasn't caught up with the bond market, like I said. Number two is this. 
Here is the SPY, the non 24 hour SPY on the left. The SPY has filled this gap. That's from Friday when you had that nice short squeeze. I'll put that on a four hour. On the right is the QQQ. These are the non 24 hour, so they're more likely to have gaps. As you see, the SP filled the gap today. Filled the gap. Right there. The NASDAQ is still down here, still two and a half points away. So that's one thing that's a warning sign. The other thing that's a warning, if this ES or the SPY gets down to this level, then you got to think the NASDAQ's going to go to the lower rung. So I definitely want to play the NASDAQ on the short side, but I don't want to just blindly play it on the short side. I'm going to use this ATR trailing stop, which we discuss on the site all the time and look for things that cross the ATR trailing stop intraday like this did and on the left AMD all day it looked great and then it looked bad so earlier it looked good you could look for bull flags then look at that holy cow it went straight down under it we're going to look for stocks that break their ATR trailing stops tomorrow in the NASDAQ and play them to the short side. That's how I want to play tomorrow. So how about the Dow stocks? Well, like I said, if there's a big recession risk, you get really worried about messing around with the deers of the world or the caterpillars of the world. This is one thing to notice, though, that I think is a big deal, and nobody is factoring it, this in at the moment. The scariness of a recession Guess what? Look at deer and cat. They're on their high for the year. Almost on their high. So I'm going to try to lean short these stocks, but just keep in mind on one-minute charts, deer has a habit of doing this. It looks terrible. It has this one pop right after the opening to make everybody stopped out, and then they nail it. So definitely that you got to watch that in the deer and the caterpillars. But definitely I want to uh, lean short the NASDAQ stocks, the economically sensitive stocks. And then I got to tell you, I'm long MSOS. So I have no idea why this rallied at the end of the day. That's the pot ETF. But on a daily it's trying to get over that ATR trailing stop. Over that, it could go to 850. Have a great night. If you like this video, sign up for the Chart Patterns Mastery on Simpler Trading. Take care. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Chris Brecher, and I'm Senior Managing Director of Stocks at Simpler Trading. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like our content, please leave us a like and a comment down below. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell notification icon so you never miss any of our great new content coming out. Good trading, and we'll see you at the next video. Take care.